What is going on guys? I'm here with the first episode for subscriber sets. We will go over the team real quick. So I use the team the set from MG Dragon and from my man Seal aka Seal Lad. I put two together. Usually I wouldn't do that, but I got a lot of suggestions and I wanna use as many sets as possible from you guys so I just put two together so my man suggested like a fat core which is like 4 4 plus Cafable this is basically the this one can take every physical hit in the game because of 4 code and then we have the wish path support from Cafable to get it healthy but I didn't want this to be like super stally so I added um, some offensive ones don't worry guys so my man Silet suggested Volcarona plus Duck Trio and he said the third one should be a wish passer but he had a drowsy as the third one we already have a wish passer so I decided let's not add another defensive one because we already have our cleric here this Volcarona has enough speed to outspeed Megalopony at plus one I don't know what all these EV do, EVs do. Shoutouts to my man Silet for the wild set. We got Grandium Duggy. Um, we can sub on stuff like Mew if they try to Willow Wisp us if they don't have uh, Psychic or Ice Beam. They can break us up. And even if they can break us up, they will be tempted not to go for Willow Wisp when I show Substitute. And then I can Screech them next turn. Um, depending on their moveset. And Ground C will blow away Mew. Um, I might. I think Toxic might be better over Sucker Punch. But I keep this for now because my man Silet posted this. And what I added, this team was super weak to Zad Y at this point. Um, so I added a Ladi and we need a Defog. And we need Hazard Control, so I added this Ladi. Uh, because Ladi is a bit more bulky than Ladi, so I decided for that to run that. We also have the Tar to get uh, the Dagi to get rid of T Tars. And the last one was Tapu Koko because I wanted to use some speed control. And I didn't want to use the standard scarf that everyone uses and like Scarf Ladi, Scarf Garchomp. So I just realized we don't have Stealth Rocks on this team. <laughs> I'm gonna make some changes. But yeah, um, the last move I didn't know what to put. I put Scarf T-Wave in case we face a Shifty Majorna and it gets out of hand. I can just click Scarf T-Wave. And Breath but is nice for Venusaur and Volcarona. Vulture just does the mo most damage. And it's really nice because we have Wish Path from Clefable in case our Coco gets worn down. Um, let me just go to the video here, you guys can see. MG Dragons had uh, four thumbs up. Um, okay, I also thumbs them up. So it had three thumbs up, this had two, and this had two. So my man Silet, I picked him, and I picked MG Dragon. And my man Ultra Balls, he already has an entire team ready, so I will use that in the next episode or in episode three. Because I think his team is really solid, and we're gonna start from uh, zero points, so I don't wanna use his team in the 1000s because it has a lot of potential. Um, yeah, let me just pause real quick and decide where I put stealth rocks on. I think I'll just put rocks on Dagi, yeah. We just put rocks on Dagi. I'm not gonna pause it. And uh, we will get just we'll just grab a game. Um, and let's see how it goes. You guys can uh, leave your sets again on this episode. If your sets didn't get used last episode, and I don't get that many suggestions this episode, I will just get go back to the last episode. I already have some other people's sets in mind that were really, really cool that will be used in the next episode, so don't you worry, guys. Um, I got you. So we got a shiny hunter here. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten some points before I started. Um, I'll just lead off with Scarf Tapu Coco. Matches up really well versus him, and... I don't know if Wild Charge Okos. So I want to calc real quick. Um, I've adamant nature. This Tapu Koko has enough speed to outspeed Scarf Ladi, which is I think you don't need more speed than that. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, I should have run enough speed to outspeed Scarf Greninja. Maybe I should change it. But I, I like the power that Adamant Coco provides over the the Jolly. I got enough checks for uh, Greninja, I think. Tapu Koko. Actually, Greninja is kind of threatening, so I will probably ch have to change the Coco spread so I cannot beat uh, Scarf Grin. I should have added my my entire team build up just so I can calc faster. I'll do that after this game. Uh, Wild Charge. Um, Wild Charge just blows this away, so I'll just click Wild Charge. Blow away the Salazzle. I mean, he could have been focused Sash, or maybe Yujin would have been my better play. But I didn't have the best switch into this anyway, so I think this was the correct play. So this obviously walls me. Hmm. This is a really. This is a bit annoying to play versus, but I think I go four for and throw but toxic.
Okay, he's physical, so four for walls him forever, basically. And he doesn't have anything that come that enjoys taking a toxic. Venomous is a problem, but we have Underworld Clef. I mean, Venomous is only a problem as it, as it, it's like the only thing that comes in. A uh, U-turn would have been a good play too, but as long as I hit this toxic, we're in a good position and we do connect. I don't want to stay in on this in case he specs. He's probably gonna go for his Z move here. Uh, I think I can just U-turn, but this is too important for the, because this just beats the Cradilly, and I don't have that much for Cradilly. Mm -mm -mm. So the play is probably to go hard on the clef here. Oh my lord, zap cannon? What the fuck is this? Life orb? Is it the move that has 50% accuracy? How did he hit that? It's only 50% accuracy. So let's hope we get our uh, protect here. We, doing a paral we don't get paralyzed. And Tritech is gonna blow me away. <laughs> Laddie can take a hit, but I don't really need my Clef this game. I mean, Clef is nice for the man, the buzz. Do I need Laddie for anything specific? I don't really need my Laddie, so I go into Laddie. I think I can take a hit. This should do like 80. Oh my god, he crit. I don't know if that mattered. But yeah, I will just go into Coco here and click U turn. And it's not about 6 0 this is just about having some fun. Like, I don't really care if I like lose some games, if I win super high. Uh, oh my lord, that did so much, we got a crit. So we can go in a Duck Trio here, and I think we can just click our Z-move, because we don't need the Z-move for anything other than this. Uh, but the, the U-turn did so much that I might not have to use my Z-move, let's calculate quick. Cradilly. Uh, U-turn does 42 to 49, let's see how much does a crit U-turn do. Wait, not Savage spin out. I meant to click crit. Uh, okay, okay, so that's 62 to 73. If he's... So he's probably Spadef, which means I think Dougie's gonna be able to kill him with a, just a regular Earthquake. Uh, unless we get a min roll, I'm not gonna risk a roll, I'm just gonna click my Z-move here. Yeah, there's no point, because I don't need a Z-move for anything else, like I said. Yeah, there's really no point in saving the Z-move. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna do it when ulti starts. Because there's gonna be a lot of tries and we're gonna catch fat elves if I use heat. Um, especially in the first cycle. I didn't want to do ulti in the first cycle, maybe in a later cycle. Um, so I'm not sure if I will go on an LT1 account, LT1 doc or something like that, or if I will just keep playing on the subscriber sets or on some other fun alt if ult comes around the corner. Toxic on this will be really nice now. Mm, there's no point in setting up rocks, he will just defog. This is probably my opportunity to go to the fourth and click slow U-turn. I don't really care about being poisoned. I feel well on my clef, and this is just a free U-turn, like I said. Yeah, I like the I like this a lot because we have U-turn from Coco, we have U-turn from Furfro. row, um, so that will potentially bring in Volcarona to um, get a setup opportunity, or it can bring in Ductrio. Let's say we U-turn on a Heatran, Ductrio, Bop. Amazing. <laughs> what else do we trap with Dougie that this team is annoyed by? Um, Magirna. Magirna gets walled by Clefable if it lacks Flash Cannon. But yeah, not not every Magirna. Like some Magirnas run Flash Cannon, especially Assault Vest. And Venomous, I think, should get. We should just win with a uh, Scarf Coco. But Electric Terrain ends soon. I might just go Volcarona here and set up. Um, I think Clefable is fine though. Because I can just heal ball. We have unaware, so we don't care about what this thing does to us. We can get rid of the toxic. Yet yeah, you can credence all you want. We have unaware. I don't give a fuck about your setup. Maybe I should wish, but I'm just gonna moonblast because. Now I think wish is better in case he goes for Z move. But yeah, I, I figured this guy would get greedy, so I'll just blow him away. It's resisted, but it doesn't matter. Just wish up here in case he attacks. He keeps credencing for some reason. He doesn't know what unaware is. But yeah, it's the low ladder. Don't blame him. It's fine. You know how you guys like the music in the background. Try out, trying out some new music. If you want me to go back to Pokemon uh, Glitch X City music, I'll do that. I'll just change it up. There's like some lo-fi chill beat, I think. It's like mix. 
I don't remember what it said in the in the title. It's like some genres mixed. But yeah, the music will all be in the, in the description as always. And this guy is gonna think he can one kill one HKO me, but he cannot. Oh, he has Ruth, so that sucks. So what I should have done, I played this poorly. What I should have done is. I should have gone on top of Coco when I had a chance and I should have just killed him. Because usually these don't carry Roost. So, because if he stalls me out of Moonblast, this is gonna be really, really bad. Um, he's gonna Roost here. Because hmm. my, my Moonblast is gonna run out before his Roost runs out, so I can actually lose to this now. I should have just gone Coco earlier, man. I don't know why he keeps crew at anything when he's at plus six. Maybe he's just trying to stall out my Moonblast. But the thing is, if I just crit him once, if I just crit him once, he's gonna get O code. And I'm gonna crit him eventually. Like, I do have. I do have 16 chances left to crit him. Bugbus is gonna bounce off. That was a crit that did zero. Um, I should have gone the offensive route though, because I don't want these games to take forever. But I'm gonna get the crit eventually, don't worry. <laughs> like. If I don't get the crit, I can lose to this, which sucks. But it's my own fault if I lose to it. And a crit only does 34%. Oh fuck, I forgot that I, if he, I have another one that already ignores his boosts. Oh, that did nothing, never mind. But he, he, he switched out, thankfully. So next time he comes back in. I don't know what cast from does. I gotta check his stats. Next time he comes back in, I will just handle him with Coco. I'm not gonna have a pp stall war again i'm just gonna go hard coco here goes for sunny day does this get a speed boost i think um wild charge is just gonna blow this away as we are adamant makes attack and this might just clean up the game he was rocking on which sucks but he just forfeit and we'll get another one yeah that was that was um not the best way to go about it Definitely could have played that better, but this guy is a Pikachu, <laughs> and as per usual, the Scarf Coco is a final lead. So the only thing I have to fear is Scarf Greninja. If he's Scarf Greninja, he would go for U-turn here, uh, or for Gunk Shot. Actually, he would go for Gunk Shot. So I think I will just go on a four for here. I shouldn't trust low ladder players, man. But yeah, he's pro he's not scarfed because he switched out. And uh, now I can go for a slow U-turn here with my fourth row. If he goes for U-turn first, we get the slow U-turn, like I said. He goes for bullet punch, we bon that bounces off. That was live or <laughs> And we can go Volcarona here. And Volcarona might just win the game. Oh, this has willow is too, that's pretty cool. So he goes Green Ninja. We outspeed this unless he's Scarf. He shouldn't be Scarf just from how he played it. Mm. Giga Drain probably doesn't Oko because I'm not making special attack. I'm just gonna calc it real quick though. Yeah, Giga Drain doesn't Oko. Yeah, I don't wanna risk this. If it's Specs, Good Ninja it might kill me. I don't think he will have Rock Slide, I'm thinking he might be Ash for Ninja, and if he specs Ash before he Mega Evolves, uh, it blows me away. Uh, I'm gonna pause it real quick and I'm gonna import my custom set so I can calc faster. So yeah, we are here with Volcarona custom set and we still get blown away. Um, at plus one, how much do we take? At plus one, it's a roll highly in our favor. It's a roll highly in my favor. He just forfeited because I took too long. Dude, I was just calking. Why did you forfeit? Okay, we will get another one. But unless he had Rock Slide, we could have just co danced again. And then we could have Giga Drained our health back. Anyway, we will get another one. This guy is a really cool looking team. I like this, um, the two Ultra Beasts. And Scarf Coco is just a really solid lead always. Because like when you don't want to think too hard about your lead and don't want to waste your time, you just click Scarf Coco and click u -turn. Yeah, we're definitely gonna call if Brave Bird kills this. Um, I got my custom sets now so we can calc a bit faster. Type of Coco custom set. Uh, what is this? Buzzwell, all your offensive. Brave Bird blows him away unless he's max HP. 
Um, I hope he's not max HP. Oh my god, he lived on 1%, so we got a min roll. And we lose our Tapu Koko turn 1. So he had to be HP invested. He had to be like max HP. So I should have probably just gone for U turn. Is he's max HP? Yeah, that was a roll, a 68% chance to Oko. But it's fine. This is, like I said, we don't always have to make the Buzz play. Um, I want to know if Buzz will learn Rock Slide. Learn Buzz will. Because if it doesn't get Rock Slide. I can set up with my Volcarona here. He can learn Rock Slide. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna play around with him then. Just gonna go Lottie here and click Psy Shock. Because I don't wanna risk a Draco missing. I know he should just go in a Jirachi, but it's low ladder. I'm not gonna predict anything. So losing my Scarf to Coco Turf 1 sucks. The good thing is he doesn't have any setup sweepers, so the speed control is not that important. Yeah, he just goes Jirachi. This is a free U turn for him. Or like, is he happy? Is he happy or gonna go Volcarona in case he U-turns so I can potentially burn him? The Iron Heights, you can burn him and we don't get it. And I'm just gonna try to set up here and if he goes hard in the Hilligo, I'm just obviously gonna switch out. But yeah, I actually kinda like this team. I mean, it's probably not made for higher ladder, but for low ladder, it's definitely a good one. I don't think he can Oko me, but I don't have... Shadowbone is gonna do a lot. So I'm just gonna go for for here. I have like the 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 best wall for the Marowak. He goes for Flabbit and that the oh, I thought he would go for Shadowbone for some reason. I thought he wouldn't want to take the recall. That actually did a fuck ton. Like I did not think it could do that much. So that is definitely adamant. Uh, but we don't really need fur for this game and poisoning poisoning the Marowak would be amazing. So this is fine. We can just protect it, so now Furfur is actually getting all the health back and we can wish pass later with Clef. We can wish it up later with our Clef. And yeah, this is fine. I don't think Bothwell can actually kill me. Would he poison jab here? I'm just gonna go Clefable, I don't think he would poison jab here. He does just leech life, that does a ton. But the poison is gonna rack up, so he's probably gonna die here. If he doesn't die, um, I can just protect. I know this is a bit disgusting, but it's not like I'm not using stall, right? Like I only have, I only have two fat Pokemon. I mean the Volk is also fat, but it's a setup sweeper. So like I tried my best to not make the stall, but it's still disgusting because I have a doggy in these two mods. But at least there's some heat. Like this is Forfaro's like Firemon. So I'll just go to Volcarona here, try to burn his Scizor a few U turns. He goes for SD, so this is gonna be, we're gonna be forced here to attack this with a Fire Dance. Because if he switches out, we get good damage and anything. He tries to bullet punch me, that actually does a good chunk. Yeah, we're not playing around with that, because if I went for Quiver Dance and he bullet punch and he got a crit on the next turn, it would have been bad, but yeah, he just forfeit. Uh, I'm gonna play like two or three more games, probably till the 1200 in the first episode. And this guy's packing some fire, not gonna lie. I don't want to leave with Coco this time because he has a Landris which walls me. Maybe I should have put HPIs in the last slot. I think Forfro is a good lead here because we can basically toxic everything, especially Landris. I expected him to lead with Landris and I didn't really know what else to lead and we can just toxic like I said. I don't know why I'm faster. But I can just U-turn. But the problem is it's a fast U-turn. So I'm just gonna Cotton Guard here so I can wall. Uh, the problem is he has a... Oh, he just off quicks. Yeah, this guy made no sense. I don't know why he would off quick there. He should have U-turned. I'm just gonna Toxic here because I'm... Oh, I thought he would hard switch. Slow U-turn is obviously his better play, but the problem is I couldn't really do anything. So the rocks are up early, which is annoying. Unless he substitute. I don't lose much from protecting here. I don't think he's sub. Uh, boom burst. This is probably gonna bowl something away. Yeah, I'm super weak to this. Holy shit. I hope Clef can wall him. We max spit death and that. Wait, that is. Why did I do so much? Am I not max spit death? I am max spit death. It's just Specs. Specs Buzzwell blowing my. Uh, holy shit. Specs Buzzwell just. Uh, Specs explode. Why is that? Well, I don't know why I said Buzzwell. Specs Eggplot just taking souls. Um, I didn't need my Clefable this game though. Like, at all, Clefable didn't do that much. 
So I just Moonblast because this guy doesn't... His Lando was slow, so I thought this might be slow. And... This is actually tough. I might lose this game. Got a cult if my Coco can Oko his X blood. Wild Charge has a chance to Oko. But it's a 50% chance. How much does Draco from Lari do? Lari has custom set. I think Lari and Draco is my better play because my Coco is too important for speed control and for checking the pincer. So I hope I can connect my Draco. Actually, Draco doesn't Oko, right? So that's. Sashak is fine because it 2 KOs him and I don't lower my special attack. And if he goes Landris, um, I can kill him with the combination of Psyshock into Draco. Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna prefer defogging. Defogging is more important. Yeah, yeah, defogging. I'm gonna defog over just killing this. If he spams rocks, that's a good play. But we shall we shall see what he decides to do here. As long as I have my Coco healthy and my four throw, I don't think Pinsel can destroy me. But that's that exploit is a big big threat and that is not something this team was prepared for <laughs> i thought max bit of clef would be like fat enough to eat to eat it up like to at least maybe i avoided to it ko with lefties and protect but it, it got, just got destroyed so starmy is a big problem because i lost my clef Um, he's probably gonna go for Ice Beam, so I'm gonna go hard on my Coco. I should be able to take a hit. And please don't freeze me. He doesn't freeze me. <laughs> the pro the thing is, am I gonna U-turn here or am I gonna Wild Charge? I think I have to U-turn because I don't want his Landers to come in for free. Yep. Uh, if I had HP Ice, I would have clicked it there. Rocky Helmet, yeah, okay, that sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just go Ladi and Psyshock. That doesn't that way I don't lower my special attack and he doesn't get rocks up. And I want something to be in that is faster than Oh wait, what the fuck? I just got a low roll. That did 28. How much did the first Psyshock do? The first did 33, I should have called. That had to be like a min roll and he's like max defense. Okay, now I'm in a bad spot. Uh um, so I can go Doggy and click the ground seed, that should kill him. Thankfully he decided to go hard into this. And let's not substitute because Boomers goes through substitute. And it kills, whew, but I'm still in a bad position. Scarf Coco can clean up, but White Charge Recall is a problem and... <laughs> Man, I should've never... I should've caught Psyshock vs Landris. That low roll sucks. Mm -mm -mm. He's gonna get his rocks up here. So my Volcarona is not gonna be winning this game. What I can do though is get up a substitute. So the next one that comes in. Um, actually, Mens walls me, but he doesn't know if I, stone, if I have Stone Edge. Man, if I had Toxic on this, I would be in such a good position. If I had like Toxic or something. I would speed this right on as he scarf. Huh. I probably just get off damage anyways because oh that crit sucks. That crit sucks a lot. And now I get up my rocks to bring men's in range. To bring men's in range from my Coco, that's actually important. And now I just click. The Coco button. The problem is the rocks just riddle me down. How much is Wild Charge to the Teraki on? I think I might be in range from Pinsir too. Soon. But I do have my 4 for the check Pinsir. <laughs> Type of Coco custom set. Wild Touch did a lot to Tarak. I think Wild Touch is the better play because I don't. If I switch out, I have to take rocks. And I'm not in range from Pinsir yet. His only play is, I think, Tarak Or oh, if he's a Tarak Mans, he can go to Mans. But 
yeah, this team is obviously not the best. You guys saw the weakness to it. But Boom Master um, thing is not that common anyway. But yeah, we don't have a steel type. Not having a steel type is a big issue. And I don't know where he went in the pincer because this doesn't kill me. Let me call it if he's adamant, maybe. Oh, even if he's adamant. I mean, I call it Jolly, but this is gonna get blown away. Um, but I probably died a recall now, which was smart on him. Yep. This was... F this is a problem. Um, I think I lose to... Terrakion. I went first into Volcarona because if he's... Scarfed, he has to lock himself into Stone Edge. And he misses. I was banking on missing there. <laughs> and if he's Scarfed, I actually have a shot now. Because I can go 4 through here and eat it up. But I'll probably just sack this. And I will set up a cotton guard. Yeah, he's scarfed. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So we can protect to get some health. Back. Stone Edge did a fuck ton. That's probably banded. If he crits us, we lose. Okay, okay, we have a, we have a slight chance. For for the god is clutching his wars. Me and my man T we have used for for before on this channel, but we, did, we haven't used this set. So I think it was a really cool idea. We have to cotton guard again if he crits us, dude. I would have screwed. I would have gotten so mad if he crit us there. Um, I didn't play this game optimal, and like I said, this team has weaknesses. But it's actually this four four set put in so much work. Um, Mans can only kill us with a crit or if it's special and he forfeits. And we are probably not in the 1200s yet, so I will grab another one. So yeah, if you guys want to snatch these teams, I will leave this down below in the description. Salah Steeler would have been probably a good addition to this team to switch into the stuff. Into s like, a steel tab is just really important to switch in the top of Lily. You guys can, like, if you guys look at the team, it is really weak to top of Lily now that I look at it. I thought he would lead with this, but it's fine, we just U-turn out. This will probably be like a toxic stall variant. I just go 4 for get a slow U-turn out. And that does nothing. This Gusko is not even a threat because I feel bad anyway if he poisons me, so I don't give a fuck. I feel bad on Clef, and I can just go Lari here and click Draco because he doesn't have a fairy type. Um, he has Mim yeah, he has Mimikyu. He has a fairy type, but Mimikyu is not a threat, so that's fine. Hmm. Um, I think I want to get on rocks with my Duck Trio here because he doesn't have Hazard Control, so that just that's just something I want to do. Uh, I will rock here because I was thinking about subbing, I'm predicting his toxic, but he's probably just gonna off quick anyways. Yeah, so there was no point in subbing, and this way my duck here is still alive. With the Z move to kill, actually, probably not gonna do much this game because at the percent it's at, it dies to E speed from Arcanine. But I'll just go 4 for here, get another slow U turn out. Could have gone to Lari predicting that. But in case he toxic, I didn't want to do that. But yeah, Steel Tab is um, really important to add to this team. So if you guys want to use this yourself, Chirachi, Seller, Steeler, what else could you guys use? Over what is the question? Probably over the Clefable because you don't want to use it over something like these mods because you don't want to make this complete semi star You want to have some sort of offensive presence. And this is really annoying, so I'm gonna U-turn into my Clef here to get rid of the the status and wish path into my fur throw. It's gonna take a bit longer, it might not be that entertaining to watch, but I think it's my best play to just wish path my fur throw up and get another slow U-turn out. We're slower, so we do that. I actually protect you to waste the PP because Toxic only has 14 left. So if I Playing smart, he's gonna run out of toxic eventually. I think my Volcarona 6 throws him if I set up on the correct Pokemon. Like, I can set up on Beedrill, I can set up on. Maybe the Mimikyu if I break the disguise. Uh, I can also set up on 
No, I cannot set up on this. I can set up on Tangles if it lacks Rock Slide. I can set up on Arcanine if it's defensive. Yeah, okay. That's basically the three months that I can set up on, not the four potentially. So it just forfeits because it didn't want to play this game, I guess. And we got another one. Hmm. But yeah, considering that I just threw this together, I know it's low ladder, but Steam has been putting in the work. I've always led up with Scarf Coco so far. I think this might be Sash Aerodactyl, so I don't want to lead up with Coco. I think Hard Forfer was a good lead here. Um, yeah, I thought he would lead up with Arrow, and I think he's like Sash or Mega. We can slow you down here, we can Toxic. Um, I think we can Toxic pretty damn low. You set up Rocks to one, but he has Taunt. I was considering that he had Taunt. But then I realized he's mega and usually you only see taunt on like Sash Rocks lead. But for some reason he didn't get his rocks up, so I don't know what this guy's doing. Now we can just go into Coco and run the call real quick. Um Aerodactyl. I mean I will run the call before I go into Coco is what I meant to say. Watch as Oko's this. Unless he's like some super bulky spread, but he's not gonna be and he doesn't have any switch ins to this. My only problem would be him going into um, Moltres and get the flame body. Uh, Carbotops? Can Carbotops kill me with Bandit Aqua Jet or is it Focus Sash or something? This guy doesn't have rain, so maybe this might be Rain Dance. So I might have to stay in here because if I switch out any Rain Dances, I might be in a bad position. Uh, Aqua Jet doesn't kill me, doesn't do much at all. So I'm just gonna stay in because I don't want him setting up a Rain Dance. I thought he was Sash. But this is still fine. Oh, he's weak armor now, so he doubles his speed. And he SDs up, and his speed is doubled, so this is scary. Mm. The, the thing is, I'm Choice Scarf, so I probably... I might still outspeed him if... Oh, he has Aqua Jet, okay. If he didn't have Jet, I'd probably still outspeed him. I can either go to Fourth Road or Clefable here. I think Clefable is the correct play because I'm unaware, so I'll probably take a bit less than Fourth Road. Oh, Furco doesn't... Uh, Furco doubles my offense, so Furco was probably... I don't know if the Furco is already cocked into the defense. If it's not cocked, then yet Furco probably takes it better. But we should be good to go unless he flinches us. And he doesn't flinch us, phew. So we should be fine, and yeah, let me know how long you want these episodes to be. I'll protect here, yeah, even though this might be a sub-variant. I just don't want him to be specs and blow me away. Agility's up, okay, so this guy's all about his setup. But this is not really doing much to me, I don't think. Oh, he's dead a lot, never mind. So he's live orb, he didn't get the flinch. I'm gonna protect the I don't wanna get I don't wanna risk a crit or anything. Mm, this Motress is a problem actually. Wish again, I don't wanna risk anything. This mon is a threat. Mm, I know what clef is important if he's belly drum on his snow legs, but I think I can just go hard into my I can go hard Volk and Wisp him, or I can go hard for fro I go hard for fro and I'll Toxic him, so that forces him. That forces. Oh, he's stockpile. Is that the Velocify special? I Toxic. <laughs> Is this guy using Velocify sets? Oh, he has immunity. Oh my god. I did not think about that. So that was an ass play on my part. I should have gone hard into Volcarona. But I go Volcarona now, I have the chance to burn him with Flame Body. And I pro. If I hit a will wisp I'm also good to go. Because, yeah, we could not poison you, but we can t uh, burn you. So now we're going to set up our cover dances. And hopefully Volcarona can get a sweep. I don't think it got to get a sweep yet. I think one guy forfeit, but that was it. I don't think we clean swept someone with Volk. So shoutouts to Connoisseur for passing this Volcarona set. Um... Does this get Rock Slide? I should have looked it up, but I don't think he's running Rock Slide. I think he's just setting up Body Slam. Oh god! No! No! But the, the good thing is um, Para got nerfed this gen. So I can probably... Go for Fire Dance and it doesn't kill. Fuck. Should have gone for Giga Drain to heal him. Why did I do so much? Oh, he was at plus 3. Uh, he, he was at plus 4 attack, so the burn was... Cancelled out. Okay, I played this poor, but I should be able to kill him with... 
I don't want us to be uh, rest in the last slot, so I hope that the ground Z move can pick him up here. Oh my lord, these gimmick sets always get me like... <laughs> I'm not prepared for that heat. Okay, thankfully we get rid of the Snorlax. So Articuno, Articuno, what are you gonna do? I don't have Edge, which sucks a lot here. I think I'll just go Hard Clef. Um, I should have set up my rocks there. I should have set up my rocks. Gets a crit with free. Yeah, because rocks hit everything. And I don't need my doggy for anything. We dodge a toxic. Not a big deal. We have heal bell. I'm just gonna start firing off Moonblast. And do nothing because it's bulky. Uh, we're gonna heal bell into Wish here. As he's a sub toxic variant, so that's annoying. So we're gonna protect it, breathing his toxic. Gotta stall that PP out. And then we're gonna wish up and pass into. Huh. Man, this is gonna be a bit annoying. That did nothing though, because he's bulky. Yeah, we're just gonna stall out his toxics and then he can't do anything. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind this. Uh, if you don't wanna see fat stuff like this, then you guys. Then thumbs up the other sets because I know I will also pick the sets that I like the most, but this set has the most thumbs up, the, the core of Clefable and Furfu. But I don't think you guys will mind that much because most of the games I haven't really been stalling that much. It has just been in a few games. But yeah, the core of Clef and Furfu was just gonna stall out his toxic. Uh, Zapdos was Life Orb, so I don't really want to stay in here. Uh, I'll just go hard Lari. No, it was Moltres that was Life Orb. I don't think Zapdos revealed anything, but Lari should be the fine play here to make. And hopefully no para. This is a 30% chance, and he doesn't get it. He's Life Orb on everything. Uh, I'll just Psy Shock. I don't want to lower my special attack, and Draco probably doesn't Oko. If he paras me, I'm going to regret not Dracoing there. And yeah, he's in range from Psyshot now. This time there's no uh, there's no roll. Like on the Lando alley, there was a roll. <laughs> mm -mm. I'll just go Clef here and heal ball. Ten toxics left. Gonna wish up. So this is sub toxic. Now we should agility ass. I don't think he's sub toxic then. That makes no sense on that side. And he does flinch us. I uh, kind of expected that. <laughs> I'm gonna get another one after this because... I don't want to end it on like a stally game like this. But I think this was my best play. And I didn't want to like... Just trying to stall out the toxic PP was my best play. I'm not trying to lose the game. Um, by making the wrong plays. I, prob like, I, I probably didn't play optimal in every game. But like I still thought... That this was the way to go as he crits me there. Uh, but we do have a wish in the air, so we're good to go. If he has a roost on this, he's a god. But I'm not risking anything. Because if he flinches me or crits me, I'm in a bad spot here. So I think protect to get a lefty's back is the play. Uh, my Lottie should win the game at this point. Just with Psy Shock to weaken the Articuno. Ah, uh, come on. But. Putting Edge on Dougie or putting Toxic on Dougie might be the way to go. Yeah, he does have Roost, but he does... He just revealed it just now. He should have revealed it earlier. If he crits me, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, no crit. But we're just gonna wish up because he could Roost for the thing has to protect. Um, he can Roost here, this is fine. I'm not gonna risk Michael Fable. And we're gonna wish now and we're gonna pass it into Furfur next turn. I think Furfur should be able to take a hit. Oh well, no, I'm gonna I'm not gonna pass into Furfur because he decided to crit me and I do want my Clefable somewhat healthy. Mm -mm -mm. Um yeah, we will get out of the low ladder, so we will be facing uh, kind of normal sets eventually. But yeah, I think this if this takes too long, I will end it after. But this is not a good game to end it on. I'll probably get another one. Hmm. I know why it's taking so long. It's like not, there's not much to think about. And I hope that Furfur is able to take a hit. Like, it shouldn't do that much. Okay, that did more than I thought it would. But the wish. 
If I get a toxic up on this, why am I faster? What the fuck is going on? These people are running some dong ass sets so we can protect. No. These kids really just don't run speed on their Pokemon. It makes no sense. We get a slow, actually, we get a fast U turn. Which sucks. Um, this might have. No, it has pressure, so it's not flame body. Duck Tree is not important, so I'll throw Duck Tree on and go for rocks. In case I live a hit, but I probably died in one hit because he's life or but yeah, like I said, I don't need Dougie, so you can just go to this uh, Lottie and click Psyshock twice. Like I said, don't want to have this game going on for too long. It should die to Psyshock. I might record episode 2 today with um, Ultra Balls team, which is a really cool team. I mean, he didn't send me it, but I saw the basic idea that he posted in the comments. Uh, that did nothing. So I should have gone for Roost there. So now we're gonna sit here for a while. Ah oh, man. But yeah, once I toxic this with the fourth row, I'm gonna be good to go. I should have gone hard fourth row probably. Mm -hmm. But the thing is he has sub, right? So if he subs on my fourth row, I can't toxic him. So I might have to PP stall this. I think freeze drag can, can freeze. So if I get frozen here, I might lose. That's embarrassing if I lose to this guy. Nothing against my opponent, but like I'm not high on the ladder. The, I don't really understand why people take that time when it's uh, when there's nothing to think about. But I also don't want to get a second game. I might just pause it till this game makes a move. Uh, he disconnected, so we will get another one. <laughs> and if he comes back, I'll finish the game. And if he doesn't come back. Thanks for the points, my man. Yeah, if you guys want Silat to join me, or you want, you have, oh, this guy's a trial team. This guy's a trial team. He turns on the timer on me. Yeah, if you guys want someone to join us, um, like my friends, Silat or Dennis the Menace, just hit me up in the comments. Uh, Ultra Balls can potentially join me. I'm um, sorry, plays way too fast, so I have to skip, cl click skip turns, so I might not have him to join me. Might not get him to join me on this. Um, he's probably gonna attack you because he didn't w doesn't want me to go hard on the doggy. Um, I forgot to add a jack button. I should have eject put a jack button on this team because doggy plus a jack button is just a disgusting strategy. Uh, I just U turn out, which is probably not my best play. I'm super weak to Tren. I don't like how I built this team, but this is the first standard team I'm facing, so it's like... I kinda wanna go hard into Dougie, but in case he magma storms, it's just not the play to make. He does go for taunt, so if I would've gone hard into Dougie there, I would've looked like a looked like a god, but he doesn't have lefties on his strength, so this is fine. Um, I can... I kinda wanna Draco here in case he goes hard Greninja. But he's never gonna go hard Greninja because he has a top of Lele, so Sashok is my better play. Because it hits Tabu Lele exactly. It hits it for a really good chunk. And yeah, now we come to the point where I was talking about this earlier. We don't have a fairy resist, which is a big problem. Um, but yeah, I have so many games. So this guy just lost an activity, and we hit. If he hit, the, if he can win the other game, we were gonna be in the 1200s. And he is. Is he specs that it's so much? I hope I can eat it up. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely specs because this is max but Death Claw Fable. So hopefully no crits. If he goes to Heatran, I can just sack my clef. And revenge him with Doggy. I can also sack my clef to revenge his Tapu Lily. Do I need this clef or anything? I don't need this clef, so if he kills me, that's fine. Yeah, I do go for Moonblast. That sucks a lot that he got the two special attack drops. Otherwise, his Galate would have gone blown away. He, he might have Poison Jab on this because he brought this in on a Clef. If, man, if he didn't... I don't know why the... Why would, I'm unaware. Why the ESD? This makes... This gets me mad as fuck. I might have to use my Groundium to kill this. But, okay, this guy just doesn't know how to play the game. I thought he was good because his team looks solid. But unless he has poison jab and he bluffed me, okay, then headbutt kills because I'm spit death. <sighs> I 
Um, if he has Shadow Sneak, my Dark Tree dies, but that won't mean he doesn't have Fighting Stab. So if he doesn't have Fighting Stab and he... That's no sad Shadow Sneak Galate. Okay, so you pick him off with Earthquake. This keeps... Uh, this forces him into Greninja or Landorus. I mean, he can also go into the... the you could have also gone into Tank. Uh, this is bad because he can U-turn here. I'll just go for throw. So he does decide to ask the up and I have to Toxic here. If he has Z-move, he's gonna blow me away, but that did nothing. Um, if he has these again, it's fine. I'm willing to sack this. Yeah, if he doesn't SD again, we get... We can get the slow U-turn here. Yeah, we can get the slow U-turn here. He Z-moves there, which is fine. I don't need this. I got a Lottie and Defog here, Volcarona. <laughs> can win this game. I just have to get rid of the Heat Shan. No, I think I have to click Draco here. No, I'm not gonna click Draco. Uh, I should have clicked Draco, but I thought he would switch out on top a little. But he decided to fly. This allows me to go into my Coco. Uh, keeping Coco healthy is probably the better play, but I don't care. <laughs> I think we can kill him with Brave Bird after the poison damage. Yep. Which is definitely what I'm gonna do here. I'm not playing around with this Landorus. But we got rid of the rocks, and if he goes Tron here, I can sack my Coco and then trap him with Doggy. If he goes into Greninja. I think I will sack my Coco, and we will find out if he's Scarf Greninja now. He should be Scarf looking at his team because his team is way too slow. He misses a gunk shot, I'm sorry, my man. So I like this poor guy. But the thing is, I trap him with Dougie after because he locked himself in the gunk shot. Oh man, that sucks. Mm. I think all he can do is go into Tangrosy because Ductrio kills. Heatran and Ductrio who kills Tabo Lele. So I'll go into Ductrio here if he goes into Tangros. I can go Volcarona and if he lacks Rock Slide. If he lacks Rock Slide, I'm in a good position. At least this guy isn't um isn't mad or anything. He's fine with it, so that's nice. Cause some people complain a lot if they get hacks. So yeah, we get the, the we get the Heatran there. I thought he would make that play, so we just Oh yes, Shut Shell Heatran. So that was a good play um good prep on his part. A uh, really cool set. And I wish I had Toxic on my doggy, but I don't. And I'm gonna sub because I don't need health on this and if he over predicts and doubles or some shit I can get my rocks up and yeah, see if he's loop powders, now I can get my rocks up so that is really cool and this, this shows me that he doesn't have anything to touch my Volcarona which means I can send my Latios to sleep maybe Latios to sleep wasn't the play so what I'm gonna do here is pull some doubles on this guy Actually, he might think that he can live any hit, so I'll just click Sasha. Yeah, I almost doubled into my Duck Trio there. And now I'm gonna double into my Dagger here, predicting him to go Tren. Uh, yeah, I got the place like that. And now he's gonna switch out. But I think I will just play it safe. And click Sub, because like I said, I don't need health on this. I shouldn't have made that play, but. Now he's gonna click Giga Drain and we can go Volcarona. So this ensures that we get a setup with Volcarona. The problem is he knows that Heatran walls this. What moves did his Heatran show so far? Shutshot Drain makes this a makes this a problem. He showed a taunt and he showed Staff Rock. So if he doesn't have Toxic, I think Volcarona wins. Uh, but he will cover dance up here. We will quiver dance again. Since this doesn't have lefties, he's not getting passive recovery, so I might actually beat this one on one. If I just had a, something to hit him. See, he only has Magma Stone, that's nice. Um, he's probably gonna taunt me, he just forfeits, okay. So I think that's a good point to end it on. We should have hit the. We think we hit the 1200s, yeah, we just hit 1200s. So thank you guys for watching.
Yeah, well, like one or two games they were a little bit slowly, so sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, I'll leave your sets down below. If you have really good name suggestion for this series, you can suggest, but I'll probably just keep it at subscriber sets because I kind of like the name actually. At first, I wasn't sure if I should name it that. But yeah, I've explained everything in the first video. If you have any questions, how you should leave your sets, just go back to the first video. Um, it will be linked in the description and it will be linked also on your screen at the moment. I always link like, uh, my videos at the end. And that's basically it. I wish you guys a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.